welcome back. Today we're gonna cover how you plant plants in the sides of your bales. We've planted our plants in the tops. But there's lots of space there on the sides of these bales that you can plant plants. You can utilize that space to plant plants and it's not gonna interfere with the plants that are on top of the bale. What we're gonna do is this end bale here with the tomato, we're gonna take and plant a spaghetti squash right there in the corner and as it starts to grow we are going to train it to go out this way and train it out into the yard here instead of up and into that tomato plant so we can grow both spaghetti squash and tomatoes in the same bale so let's get this spaghetti squash into this bale what we're going to do here we're going to create a pocket right here it's kind of the side it's it's above as you can see it's above this top uh, tie for the bale and I'm going to use my pliers grab a hold of some of the straw pull it out there we go okay. good pocket started there now sometime on these plants it's hard to get them out you don't want to pull this plant out of this container because then you might damage the roots, you'll inter disturb the roots and it's not gonna grow. So you wanna take, squeeze on this bottom of this a little bit and turn it upside down. As you'll see, it starts sliding out. I've not interfered the, or I've not, uh, not pulled the roots, I've not damaged them. This plant right here is broke. It's got two of them in the same little section. This one's broke, I'm gonna throw this one away. We've got a good healthy plant here. We're gonna put this in the side of the bale. I'm gonna put a little potting mix just to line that pocket just a little bit because we do have some exposed roots here. Put the plant in there. I'm gonna pack a little bit of potting mix in there just to hold it in place. Pull that straw back around it. Now we've got spaghetti squash. put this butternut squash right here on the side of this bale. One more thing I'm gonna try planting are some sugar baby watermelons. I've never planted the water, actually I've never grown a watermelon. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say I've never grown a watermelon. Um, but this year I wanted to try this. So I'm gonna stick this in the side of a couple of bales and we'll see how that does too. So it's easy as that. You can plant in the sides of the bales as well as on top. For instance, I've got these two bales here. Not only have I got three tomato plants as well as red onions pushed into the bale on the other side, I now have two spaghetti squash and two butternut squash in these two bales. So that gives you an idea of just what all you can do in a straw bale garden. You've got lots of options and you can grow lots of crops in very in a very small space well i hope you've enjoyed this video and 
if you have any questions shoot me a, a question in the comments below and also let me know what you plant in your straw bales it may give me some ideas because um, I always like new ideas and new things to try if you like my channel please subscribe and hit the like button below this has been gardening with Tracy thanks for watching